Hi everybody, I posted this video in August 2015, Geoengineering Harp EMFs depleting our atmosphere of negative ions, causing you many problems. If you want to watch it, just click on the link below. But I had never come across a paper that um, either hinted at or very directly stated that our military could be using air ionization as a weapon against the American people until now. I will link below to this paper from PSYOP to Mind War, The Psychology of Victory, written by Paul Valley and, yes, our illustrious Michael Aquino, our Satanist, our psychological warfare specialist for decades in the U.S. Army. Uh, this was not to be an article published. This is a talking paper. And um, I believe Paul Valley suggests that we use the term mind war instead of PSYOP. Yes. So, in this article, they talk about the conventional uses of PSYOPs. They talk about the PSYOPs in Vietnam, uh, propaganda as PSYOP, torture and um, deprivation as a PSYOP, too. All of it is to uh, control one's mind and thinking. But in this paper, I come across, yeah, this. There are some purely natural conditions under which minds may become more or less receptive to ideas, and mind war should take full advantage of such phenomena as atmospheric electromagnetic activity, air ionization, and extremely low frequency waves. They go through all three, just a you know paragraph or two for each, but air ionization an abundance of negative condensation nuclei, air ions, in ingested air, the air that you're breathing, enhances alertness and exhilaration, while an excess of positive ions enhances drowsiness and depression. Calculation of the ionic balance of a target audience's atmospheric environment will be correspondingly useful. Voila. So, this video is on this article, so I'm not going to go into it very much, but I just want you to hear this. Positive charged ions are present because of the activity expressed in barium salt, military weather control, and various associated and other radiation present in the atmosphere. The entire man-made atmospheric environment contributes to excessive positive ion count. It is one of the reasons why Americans are so drowsy, are so tired, are so lethargic, are so apathetic. It is one of the reasons why we have an exponential increase in illness, disease, syndromes. And one of the reasons why we have an awful lot of people who are uh, not acting appropriately, behaving in ways that we have not seen before, and, you know, frankly, I include myself in that because um, I have absolutely gone off, um, gotten very angry, and, well, you know, I've been thinking about it, what was going on. Um, yes, I was in this uh, incredibly stressful state, frustrated. Uh, a lot was going on, but I was in South Carolina, and I will tell you, very often I said, the air is dead here, there's nothing in the air, and I knew that the negative ions were just not there, because when I would visit my friend in Tennessee, who lived in the Smoky Mountains, her house in the mountains, um, trees all over the place, rivers, I would get out of my car in Tennessee and would feel better instantly. I could feel that the air was alive there, that there was something rejuvenating about it, and then go back to South Carolina and the air was just completely stagnant. There was nothing rejuvenating in it. And that's what negative and positive ions can do. It is why people go to the beach for vacation, because of those negative ions. It's why they feel rejuvenated after vacation. And it's why people go to the mountains for vacations. Uh, that was true not too long ago. 
they have depleted the negative ions even in those areas. But TELSA experimented with electromagnetic flux and studied the Earth's gravitational field. During his research, he discovered that the ionization of the atmosphere would alter when it was charged by radio wave transmissions in the low frequency range of 10 to 80 hertz. TELSA also discovered that he could cause both positive and negative ionization of the atmosphere by manipulating the radio frequency. So we're saturated in electromagnetic frequencies that they are using against the American people. Uh, what are some of the other symptoms of positive ions? Arthritis, joint disease, high blood pressure, cancer, sinusitis, pulmonary tuberculosis, peripheral neuritis, stress symptoms. Uh, positive ions can encourage bacteria and viruses, whereas negative ions can help kill bacteria and viruses. But it also, positive ions also cause mental instability, psychosis, mania, rage, clouded thinking, uh, pulmonary emphysema, pneumonia, laryngitis, dry hack and cough, respiratory illnesses, allergies, depression, suicidal thoughts, um, nausea, general malaise, road rage, anger. Okay, um, so I will tell you that um, I have for years had great difficulty thinking. Talk about clouded, clouded thinking. Um, my brain, I feel, is just hanging on um, to life. And any of you experiencing that? My God, we have so many external forces attacking us now that are absolutely affecting um, our physical health, our, our mental and emotional well-being. The positive ions can also um, cause serotonin syndrome, and that can cause dryness, burning, and itching of the nose, nasal obstruction, headaches, dry, scratchy throat, difficulty in swallowing, dry lips, dizziness, difficulty in breathing, itching of the eyes, and as I am doing this video, my throat is really dry, it's scratchy, um, my eyes are very itchy, and I, for one, am really sick and tired of having the environment controlled by very, very sick people in our military. All links are below.